I'm David from Levica Photography, and today I want to give you guys a quick update on the Sony ECM W1M wireless microphone, this little guy right here. Uh, I kind of jumped my review the other day because I literally bought this microphone to be able to do uh, YouTube videos because I usually do these on my own. There's nobody here to help me. Um, so with that being said, uh, I wanted to do this wirelessly and give you the best audio quality so you wouldn't have to sit there and go, what the hell is he saying? Um, you know, it's kind of a learning curve for me. I'm getting better at it. Uh, I'm not a videographer, but I am definitely experimenting with it more. I do have 20 years of photography behind me. So, you know, I've been doing this for a while. And, you know, vide videography and photography are starting to merge. And they have been for quite a while, but now it's even more than ever. So, you know, now is when we really have to think about these two, you know, combining and actually running together. So, uh, you know, I felt like I rushed my update the other day and I didn't fully get into it. And let me uh, just tell you guys what else I found out about this. Uh, first off, the uh, headphones that you plug into, or the earbuds that you can plug into the microphone in the head unit, they allow the... Uh, cameraman and the reporter to talk to each other. And the volume control that's actually on the microphone and on the head unit uh, is strictly for talking to each other. That way you can turn it up or down. Uh, it doesn't actually control the volume of the audio you're recording, just so you know. All right, so the other thing I wanted to add to that is there is a microphone out jack on top. And so after doing some testing, I discovered that it works great with the Boya mic. So we'll go over here. Now this is the Boya VM200P. It's also known as a Rode uh, microphone, um, and it goes under several different names. I think uh, Opteka is another one. Um, but again, this is one of those products that goes under a bunch of different names like Samyang and Roknon. Um, and this is becoming very standard in photography nowadays when it comes to certain products. But anyway, let me go ahead and plug this in. All right, now I just turned it on. <clears throat> okay, so now this gives me more audio options. Now if I'm actually doing video, I can have a sound man uh, controlling this, you know, with the standard boom wirelessly. And uh, to me, that's a huge benefit. Um, with the uh, other microphone, the S STY SM, uh, the head unit that you actually just slide on, um, you can plug in a microphone into that port as well but again, you're, you're doing it cabled. Uh, this allows you to do things wirelessly. So, you know, for me, this is a much better option. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to add to that was I did some further testing uh, with this microphone setup. And let me switch back off again. All right, the further testing that I did was with the uh, A7R. And I tested the microphone unit on there to see what exactly, what exactly the functionality was. And you have three switches on their microphone, and they actually are um, 5.1 channel mix, mono, single, and off. So the 5.1 channel, um, it doesn't record on the Sony A7 or the A7R. I don't know if there's another setting in the camera that you have to enable to allow that to record, but currently it only records on single and mono. And a friend of mine that has A7, he's saying the same thing, and he couldn't find an internal setting to switch it over. So anyway, that was my uh, quick update. I hope you guys liked it. We'll talk to you later. See ya.